Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we have ended the Christmas season, we begin ordinary time, the beginning of the mission of Jesus in his life of ministry. May the light of Jesus continue to shine in his church. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. It was not angels that God subjected the world to come 
of which we are speaking. Instead, someone has testified somewhere. What is man that you are mindful of him, or the son of man that you care for him? You made him for a little while, lower than the angels. You crowned him with glory and honor, subjecting all things under his feet. In subjecting all things to him, he left nothing not subject to him. Yet at present, we do not see all things subject to him. But we do see Jesus crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death. He, who for a little while was made lower than the angels, that by the grace of God, he might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that he, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the litter to their salvation perfect through suffering. He who consecrates and those who are being consecrated all have one origin. Therefore, he is not ashamed to call them brothers, saying, I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is the man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. You, made, you have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the sea. You have given your Son rule over the works of your hands. Please stand. Receive the word of God, not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, 
What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We have just finished celebrating the beauty of Christmas. And now, we begin reading from the Holy Scriptures the purpose, the meaning, and the reality after Christmas. And that is the reality and the meaning of the mission of Jesus. That it is not just about all beauty. It is not just about all about happiness, celebration. Jesus came down and he was willing to be, according to our first reading today, lower than the angels, to be man like us, to suffer like us, so that he could bring us to perfection. My dear brothers and sisters, this reminds us that love that true love entails also the willingness and the conviction to be able to suffer, especially for your loved one. Pinakita po sa atin ngayon ang pagsisimula ng misyon ni Jesus. At makikita mo lamang po ang dedikasyon ng isang tao sa iyo ang pagmamahal ng isang tao sa iyo kapag handa siyang magdusa, handa rin siyang maghirap para sa kanyang taong minamahal. That is the meaning of the birth of Jesus. He was willing to become lower than the angels so that together with us, He also can suffer so that we might attain perfection. My dear brothers and sisters, only those people who are willing to suffer with you can also have the conviction to love you. Ang mga tao lamang na handang magdusa rin kasama mo, yan ang siguradong mamahalin ka. Siguro po, mayroon ditong mga mag-asawa sa inyo. Baka nung nanliligaw pa lang yung asawa ninyo, nangangako palagi yan na pasasayahin ka at ibibigay lahat sa iyo. Meron bang nanligaw na ang sinabi sa iyo ay bibigyan kanya ng suffering? Wala. Lahat yan ang pangako ay paliligayahin ang buhay mo. But when you come to the wedding ceremony, you will be confronted with the true promise of love. Ano ba yung pangako sa kasal? I will be faithful to you in good times and in bad. For richer or for poorer in sickness and in health. 
That is true love. It is not just about all celebration and happiness. The one who loves is also willing to suffer and to remain with you even in the midst of suffering. That is what Jesus did in this world. That is why in our gospel reading today, the unclean spirit did not have the conviction of this suffering because of love. And so he wanted to get rid of Jesus. What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? Because the unclean spirit does not have the conviction to remain with God in suffering. But Jesus came just to do that, to have the conviction to remain with us, to be one with us, to suffer with us because he loves us. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Mass, let us be reminded why Jesus came to this earth, why he was born in this world, and that is to become lowly, to become human like us, so that he could love us even in times of suffering. Love is proven even in times of suffering. Amen. Please stand. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may continue to teach Christ's truth and combat the evils of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. That world leaders may promote righteousness in their governance and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies they are sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. That we may not grow idle in our prayer life so that the unclean spirits may not take over our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. That the sick may be freed from their physical and spiritual infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace, please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh, no.